if you have short-term rentals, maybe you are charging $150, $200 a night. So quickly, you can add up the difference there in the amount of money that you're bringing in. However, it's not all gravy. There are expenses. You know, you will have some expenses for marketing, even though I'm a very big proponent of organic marketing, so free free with a little bit of time and effort. Um, but if you have a, a property manager, they need to be paid and, you know, they need to take care of it. If your bookings are coming through the online travel agents like Airbnb and booking.com, all of those bookings you have to pay commission on. Okay. So, and there's also expenses in what you're providing. Um, in the the property insurance and regulations as well as something to look at and safety. You have to make sure that everything's, you know, above board and nobody's going to get hurt. So there are expenses. It's not like, you know, I'm going to make $250 a night um, net. No, you're not. There are expenses to make. But you can very quickly see that having somebody in as a guest rather than a tenant will make more money in the long run. For sure. Well, I know we have got a lot of listeners here to the show that have considered, um, but haven't started yet. And there's a lot of listeners here that have been relying on the platforms and are interested in the direct booking from the time they learn how to do this, the way you do it, What's a realistic period of time that they could actually have their marketing up and going, their website up, and actually have business coming in and nights being booked? 